And Shams is up again. So much so he's up and now he's down. I've never seen someone put so much Shamsy. The line certainly looked pretty good, actually, when you look at it on the replay there. Well, let's probably save Matt Short here as he's an exceptionally tall man, and he's got a very big stride in. None of them went his way. It's very vociferous in his appeal. <laughs> I think he asked five or six times on that occasion. That didn't go his way. And then five times on that occasion. <laughs> He was pretty good in Sydney where the Australians were just trying to keep him out. <laughs> that is sensational. The Pakistanis think it's a leading edge and an outside edge of Ricky Ponting. Tucker just asks, has he caught it to the square leg umpire? Of course he's caught it, but has he hit it? I reckon he's hit it. Either that or the ball spun a long way. I'm just saying that it's not a big spinner of the ball, Shady to free. Yeah, he's given him. I'm not exactly sure what Rod Tucker was checking there because it was no doubt it was caught, not cleanly, but it certainly didn't hit the ground. I think you'll find this is almost a leading edge or a back of the back. There's the edge. Hits Akmal in the chest, it goes down to his thighs and he hangs onto it. Big wicket this one for Pakistan. That's a huge edge. Magnificent bowling. He draws that false shot out of Ponting. Just looking to work it into the gap they've left for him on the right of screen. Nips the edge of the Kookaburra into the gloves, then the stomach, then the thighs of Cameron Akmal, and all of it closes. We quickly remedy that. <laughs> talk about an impassioned appeal. And talk about a gentle smile in response. Peterson ends up on the wrong side of the pitch here. And you all seem to be having a laugh about this. It's Peterson's appeal, which finishes up on the wrong side of the pitch. Unis Khan just naturally laughs at him. Well done, Tony. 